I am so excited to be starting a new series with you guys, or should I say a return to a well-loved series. It is the Demon Slayer Season 3 Swordsmith Village Arc, Episode 1. So I am so excited mostly to meet the two Hashira and for maybe an improved animation and more epic fights. So let's get into it. Why am I getting emotional already? The season just started. And every single time I see Demon Slayer, the animation, you can definitely feel there's like subtle differences. I mean, do you see the way the light reflects in all these scenes? And the wood textures? It just looks so good. I'm ready for the trippy perspectives and the different angles here. I'm still mad at Akaza for what he did to Rengoku. But man, his design is so pretty. Ah, oh, the music is so good. This is such a random thought. But a Demon Slayer inspired ride or amusement park, I think would be fantastic. It would be so cool. Can you guys imagine a ride, maybe like a 3D ride or something inspired by, you know, Muzan's castle or domain, alternate dimension. I think it would be really cool. Six and a half hours later. One eternity later. My goodness, with how many chambers do you think they would just build one elevator or something? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Who is this? Oh. Kyoko? Sir, your true thoughts are leaking. Upper four? I guess Akaza has the best looks in all of the upper moons. My first thought with this, I guess, Biwa woman? This is such a flex. And I feel like she's just the receptionist. Basically the receptionist for the ultimate villain. She's here to just, you know, have all the henchmen show up and then just play her instrument. I so pretty. He looks so good. Very casual. I'm waiting for the reveal. His voice is amazing! I love his tone. It just sounds like a very rich, deep tone. Oh, is someone getting promoted? He's so all over the place. It feels like a boss who is basically telling all employees, You the terrible, you the terrible. I expected nothing from you guys anyway. This just sounds like a like a boss scolding his employees in a sense. Oh, the art! That's amazing! He's so calm. Oh, the baby arms. Wow. What a pessimist. 
無残様の手が私の頭にいいえと All the upper moons are freaks. I'm convinced. Rosanna has the most epic entrance and departures I've ever seen in any series. Oh. Akaza hates him. <laughs> He's such a mood. He's just scared of hiding inside. Ah! Ooh, the little spiny things. My goodness, he does sound like a teacher's pet. Doma is the perfect representation of a smiling face that will stab you in the back. He's out here just flaunting the fact that Yeah, I became a demon after you, but I still got promoted before you. Ah, oh, that is annoying. I can see why Akaza hates him. I think his personality is pretty interesting, and I love his character design so far. Such a one-sided friendship. Oh, okay, I was not expecting this. He looks so intimidating. I love his design too. I have newfound respect for Akaza. <laughs> He's such a moon. They're all so funny. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ignored. <laughs> no one wants to be his friend. Literally nobody. The earring. This has to be a flashback. I know this should be a revelation moment where we're like, Oh my god, this is Tanjiro's dad. But the first thing I thought was, Tanjiro's a baby face. I mean, if his dad looks like this, exactly like Tanjiro, Tanjiro's probably going to age pretty gracefully. He's probably going to have a forever baby phase. So here's my theory. The first upper moon is this guy. And this is him before he became a demon and before he met Muzan. But he's also the founder of, what was it? Fire breathing or flame breathing? And he coincidentally, back when he was human, met Tanjiro's family, saved them, maybe from a demon probably. And I guess something happened when he encountered Muzan and became an upper moon? Is this some sort of secret that only some of the Hashira know? Or is this just unknown to everyone and maybe they just think he disappeared or got killed? Like, I, I'm very curious on kind of what the connecting point here is. <gasps> He also had a black blade, like Tantra. I can see why he appealed to Muzan. They both have the same pessimism. Wait, so how is Tantra able to see those memories? Alright, how long has he been out? Two months. I shipped them. Ore wa goto to you, Monoda. Go kaigi no toki, Kamado Tanjiro ni. It's ma de netenda sasa to kineka to itanoga. Ore da. The random side story explanation to the side character. 
2ヶ月前、遊郭であいつらを発見したのも俺だ。お、ガトスは everywhere! 戦うあいつらを素直に尊敬する。こいつはわけわからん。<笑> so random! そして、俺が手に持っているのは高級菓子のカステラだ。I knew it looks so good! 戻らないあいつへの贈り物なのだ。I like him. I like g o t o I know you guys have heard. There are different love languages. I think it's like quality time, acts of service, like different ways to show affection. But I'm telling you, there's a sixth one that people don't talk about enough. It's food. Food is a love language. The fact that Goto wants the cake, wants the castel so bad, but it's like, you know what? It's for Tanjiro. I like him already. That's a love language. Food giving. <laughs> I thought that would make Tanjiro up. Ah, thank you. No! <laughs> I was wondering why he was so calm about it. <laughs> the poor Castella! I don't know how they're all amazed that he's able to walk. I was nervous on how he was jumping onto the bed because Tanjiro definitely doesn't look like he's able to move about yet. I was just about to say that Inosuke is definitely very similar to Honey Badger. The whole. I don't care. I'm gonna slaughter everything out of tune. <laughs> the laugh. Oh, cute cat. Oh. Yeah. Aww. Tanjiro is such a big brother type. I love how Zinus is forced to be here. <laughs> Did no one? <gasps> Did no one tell him that Tundra's been in a coma? Oh, that looks so good. It sounds so crispy. I'm so hungry looking at this bread that they're eating. Tactically, isn't this a bad idea to have all your weapons makers living in the same village? I mean, what if the demons decide, you know, to hunt that place down? I feel like this is a little bit not well thought out, the whole village. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, so I guess that's how they're able to keep the village extremely well hidden. I still wouldn't have everyone in one place, though. I love how he's just moving from place to place by being carried. Everyone loves Tanjiro. It's pretty small. Oh, I love the art so much. <gasps> we finally get to see the love hash around. <laughs> the mask. 
<笑>いや、スモール。カマドタンジロです。よろしくお願いします。タンジョウ、そう、respectful。俺が刀を折ったり、すぐ運ばれさせたりするからで。I Maybe that's the real reason why Hotaru ran away. この坂の上が温泉です。ここの温泉はいろんな効能があって、切り傷、やけど、胃母質連の痛みまで。What is this magical hot spring? Cures everything from gout to heartbreak? Ah, she's so cute! This is not the hello I was expecting. もうすぐ晩ご飯ができるみたいですよ。Oh, she's a foodie. We're gonna get along. I love her. <laughs> it just dropped a tube. Is that his first response to seeing someone? <laughs> what an unfriendly guy. He wanted to do what? Wow, what? Tanjo's a wild one. I love her. Tanjo is unfriendly guy. Oh, I love food animation. Oh, it's so cute! Her and Nezuko walk together. I love how everyone has some tragic backstory about defending her family or revenge. Or the greater good. Is she here and using Demon Corpse like a dating service? She's looking for a potential partner here. She wants a partner that is more powerful than she is. And I guess by her logic, Hashi are powerful, but you can't just, right, you can't just go up to one and say hi and ask them out on a date. But was there no other way to meet someone powerful? This seems like a little bit of a drastic way. But she seems really sweet and I love that she's kind of romantic. I wonder if she has a crush on any of the current Hashira though. <laughs> <laughs> Tanjiro's just so surprised. Aww. Oh. She gives off the vibe of like a responsible older sister. Oh, I love her so much. What is going on here? I wonder what that was all about. Okay, so Tanjo's not completely oblivious. <gasps> oh, so good! Tansai wa kono atari no yama de toreta mono. Sakana mo kesa kawa de tota mono nan desu. Tanjo is such a calming presence. I feel like the villagers must really like him as well. Kimi koso ii kagen ni shinai yo. Mm. Wow, Tanya's really out here meeting all of the Ahashira. Wait, okay, well, there goes my theory of the flashback being of the first upper moon. Nope. Wow. They better not end it here. Oh, of course.
Wow, the ending song goes hard. I love the ending song. This is pretty good. I like that it's showing us some of the scenes around the Hashira. Oh, so it's just straight up showing us the fight between the Hashira and what was he? Fourth Upper Moon? Oh, the animation looks so smooth. That is the biggest mystery of all. That is kind of creepy. He was just hanging around? <laughs> Maybe this is the real reason why Tanjiro woke up. Only Tanjiro. This was such a fiery start to the season. I didn't expect first episode to be so long. It was like twice the length of a regular episode. I really loved it. I think if I had to pick a favorite scene, my favorite was Muzan's entrance and him breaking the glass and really reprimanding all the upper moons. I feel like that was pretty, that was pretty cool. And I love meeting the Hashira, even though we've only gotten a glimpse of the missed Hashira so far. I'm looking forward to seeing the fights and honestly, animation looks amazing. Definitely a step up, even from season two. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite scene and what you're most excited about in this next season. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!